Hey, Grant Cardone here. Welcome back to Ask a Pro. I have today Dennis Anderson. Dennis does a show, if you don't know, on Grant Cardone TV called The Sterling Report, and I put him up to a challenge. I'm like, hey, man, I got people coming here tell me what to do, how to do. They talk concepts. Hey, Dennis, show me how to buy a deal right here in Miami. He's like, man, I don't really know Miami. Good. <laughs> Let's find a deal. Ask a pro. So Dennis is going to help us find a deal to flip. Right. Dennis, what's the first thing you do? So first thing I do when I'm heading into another market is I'm looking at, <clears throat> first of all, I like to make relationships with realtors. I love doing that. But of course, I mean, I like, like to hop in there and do things myself. That's always great. So I'm hitting realtor.com the first just to kind okay, of see realtor. what's going on. Uh, just to kind of see what's in the market and see what's going on. Is there a price point we're looking for here? Um, Kind of depends on, again, what, what market we're in. Of course, the lower, the better you know, yeah, we're looking yeah. for. But um, anywhere between 100, you know, 100,000, 150,000, especially when you're getting into the larger markets. Okay. So let, 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 let's look east of uh, or west of the 95. Awesome. We need to be west of or even Biscayne Bay, right? I mean, in that, or maybe west, just west of the 95. The 95 splits Miami mm -hmm. in half. So we're going to go west of there because when you go that way, I mean, the beachfront is just pushing people right. over, right? Okay. So I know the rate, the rents over there dropped, Dennis, from, you know, 1500 on this side, wow. 2300 on this side, all the way down to $800, $700. So we're going to talk about tougher neighborhoods now, right? Yeah. Am I going to be packing in these neighborhoods? Uh, you know, sometimes you might have to. Or is that just more TV drama? <laughs> more TV drama. Yeah, I mean, yeah. Sometimes when you go into a lot of these neighborhoods, they're not, you know, they're not necessarily it, doing that. We do yeah. the same thing back at home. It's not, it, know, yeah. it's not a big deal. Yeah, yeah. Not a big deal. And then if you need help with zip codes or anything, yeah, so uh, zip code over let me see. Uh, 33141? No, that That's would be my area. neighborhood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, try that. 33141, see what comes up. So you're going to have to know the area, right? Yeah, you definitely got to know the area. And then you're going to just put in price points like anything. You're going to put in a certain price range, like yeah, lowest to highest. Range, the lowest to highest. So I'll say, yeah. uh, what's a typical low point around here? I don't know. I don't really know what, what you know, eight million? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. <laughs> Depends on who you ask. Right? Depends on who you're asking. Right, right, right. Hey, man, what can, what can I buy a condo for? <laughs> 44 million? You know? Right. You know? That's it. Um, I'm just going to put in 200,000 to. Yeah, I think, I think you can even go lower than that, though. I think, I think this thing drops off really hard right. here. And then you're going to find abandoned homes. You're going to find the Section 8 stuff. You're going to find problems that people don't want to be in. So he's going to Realtor.com. Actually, I'm on Zillow now. Oh, he's on Zillow now. Zillow is another good site that you can use. To it's find awesome. It. Zillow, it's you can put in Trulia because Zillow bought Trulia. Mm -hmm. Put it in. Put single family homes as the search. And, and then put lowest to highest. So you're going to be looking for... Um, yeah, let me see. Let me see your map here now. See, see, anytime you're seeing views of the ocean, we're not looking for that, right? I mean, we're not looking. For, well, that's one hundred eighty-nine thousand dollars. One bathroom, thirteen hundred square feet, house for sale. Um, you see, but we're now we're in a condo land. Okay, any. Let me see. Where's my Where's my sort? Here, I'm gonna do sort here. Sort um, low to high. Let's see what we get now. Condo. We don't want a condo, okay? I want to. Do, you want to do single family, yeah, or you want to do condos? Because man, there's so much condo product in this right. market. Look at all this condo, okay. condo, condo. It's scary. It's terrifying, wow. right? Um, foreclosed. One hundred two thousand dollars. One bedroom, one bath, five hundred square feet. Is that a condo too? Twenty two hundred fifty Bay Drive. See, that's too tight. Yeah. It's an apartment for sale. Condos, condos. So yeah, this is what it's gonna, huh? Everything is condos. Oh, dude, it's a crazy market, wow, man. man. Okay, it, it is a whack market. Now, the reason I want to stay away from the condo in this situation, I'm not saying I would do one, mm -hmm. but, man, the HOA fees and the property taxes wow. in this town will freaking eat you up, okay? So let's go back to, um, one, Dennis just showed you, you have to know the market down to zip codes. you got to know where you're at because Dennis is like, I don't know this market, this mm -hmm. city, right? So you got to know that. Uh, and that's probably why he's going to want to know a, mar a, a broker in the market. Uh, let's see here. How do I do? Why do I do three bedrooms? Because now I'm going to be more into the homes. Yeah. And let's see what this pulls up. And that starts at 235. So immediately what we just did in right. only a period of three minutes, we started figuring out what our price points are. I just need a different zip code here. How do I pull up my map? Okay. 
Yeah, yeah, there you go. There you go. See, we're on the wrong side, okay? So, Robert, come see this, Robert. So, see, what we got was everything. We got exactly what we don't want to be, all right? <laughs> see, see what Zillow... <clears throat> now, watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to move over here. Because <clears throat> all I got is... That's Miami Beach. Yeah, yeah. Well, you're not... You're not you, you got 40, 50 grand. You're not starting over mm -hmm. here, okay? Um, and you can see how much product there is here. That's oh. also concerning to me. Uh, but let's get over here. And I, 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 that's North Bay Village. You got a, you got a different zip code for me, Robert? Uh, you want to go? Um, see, how do I do? I, I'm not used to using an iPad on this. Um, I want to I want to put up everything. Is this multifamily? I don't want multifamily property. Three three one two nine. Okay. Downtown Miami. Uh, I don't want to be there. I want to be north of that, really. I want to be North Bay, North... North Bay? Yeah. Uh, well, North not North Bay, dude, but North, you know... Miami? North, not 95, west of the 95, and, and up in that north. All right, here we go. I got a map. Cool. Uh, I just don't know how to use the iPad for Zillow. <laughs> <clears throat> That's it. Um... Uh, I don't know yeah, why you, you should be able to just uh, yeah, take exactly. it right there. 33161. Three, yeah. yeah, that's where oh, we want to be. It. Okay, now, yeah. now, 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 now. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Okay, but you see, even, even, I might even want to get further. Yeah. But you see, here's downtown, okay? So, so I'm going to give Dennis a little, first thing I would do is get a map, okay? Mm -hmm. Here's downtown Miami. Okay, downtown Miami, there's billion, billions of dollars, $2 billion or $3 yeah. billion dollars is going in downtown Miami. You're not buying anything on this ocean or this bay mm -hmm. without paying a premium. That means it's more desirable, but you need more money. So if you guys are looking for a play, to me, if I was starting right now, mm -hmm. I'm looking for stuff right around in here that's going to continue to have pressure, even outside this. Okay. This is still going to be, you're going to see a Whole Foods right here. Mm -hmm. You're around Whole Foods or Starbucks, you're paying premium dollars. Yeah. Okay, I want to get a little further out in these neighborhoods. Try what three, is this? 3162. 33162? Three, three, yes. 33162. Three, one, Let's see where we go. We're going to go a little further out now, you see? See, now, look at the prices. Okay, here we go. We're getting into this 130 number. All right, so let's just start. Um, what does the red mean? Do you know? I think that's purchased. Probably uh, okay, so. so what is this? Is that 189,000, 164, 144, 138? Let's try this, 138. This is for sale. Let's see what we got here. Sign in for details, and we're not signed in yet. This is a foreclosure. Okay, you got to get signed in. <clears throat> I mean, the median price in America is two hundred seventy-eight thousand dollars. I'm buying Miami for what? What is that? One eighty-nine. Mm -hmm. I'm a hundred thousand below median. It's a whole sales pitch right there. I'm getting. I'm getting the pitch. So you got to get an account at Zillow. He he likes Realtor.com as well. You got to know the marketplace. You got to be committed in your heart because th this is work, man. It is. <laughs> this is work. It's really work. We haven't even done anything. I'm sweat. Right. <laughs> okay. I haven't even freaking fixed anything yet. Right. Like, right. Okay. Okay. So so let's go back in here. Um, I get so excited about real estate because you know the beautiful thing about real estate is you can touch it, feel it, walk it, and smell it, man. Love You're it. like, we walked in a house one day, and my wife's like, it stinks in here. I said, baby, it's at money. least it's an investment that you can smell. <laughs> That's right. That's you that invest, money smell. You put your money in a 401k, drop it in right. on the Wall Street, you never smell it oh, again. Okay, that does stink. Okay, <laughs> that's some stinky. Let's see what we got here. Okay, we got a pre foreclosure. I don't know what that means. Is that just a, a just promotional thing? The home is a big corner lot, lots of space for a garden, paved drive, extend the home, quiet street neighborhood, remodeled in 2009. So they remodeled it and lost it. New air condition, good for investor buying, or looking for a remodeled project. Showing suspended, you can drive the property, uh, but no, the inside needs 70% remodel. Is that a typical thing? Yeah. So they got foreclosed on, tore the place up before they left because they're angry. And lost it. And lost it. Because mm -hmm. if I'm going to lose it, why not go ahead and destroy it? Yeah, destroy it. Right? Let's just go ahead and do that. <laughs> um, 
Who am I talking to in this case? It's 1,100 square feet. It's $100,000 less than the median price in America, which includes Omaha. Right. This is Miami. So how do I do this deal at 189? Yes, yeah, so at 189, you're looking to, and I mean, at this point, it's pre foreclosure, so it's pretty much still left with the left with the seller. You can still negotiate that. Uh -huh. It hasn't even went to the bank yet. They're uh -huh. not really looking to um, do that. Of course, banks don't really care too much for owning real estate. But at this point, you can still get in contact with the seller to negotiate that. Hey, I know you're in pre foreclosure. We want to work out a solution for you. Yeah. Figure out how to make that work. Yeah. Um, certainly at. How, how many different properties do I need in a basket or, or in my funnel mm -hmm. to find one deal? Oh, man. Um, and that kind of goes back to the whole, like when we do direct mail, I'm not too big on, okay, we well, have to mail out this much in order to get that. Sometimes we've mailed out sometimes 1,000 mailers. Okay? Uh -huh. Maybe we got 10 or 12 deals out of that. Maybe we mailed out 1,500 and got phone calls, uh -huh. but not one deal. So, I mean, sometimes that kind right, right. of, right. how some of those so, things. So, so 1,500 mailers is going to cost me what? Just so oh, people get an understanding. Probably cost you, and if you're doing it over a period of three or four, three or four mailers, you're probably looking at about three thousand. Yeah. So look, you're going to be investing some kind of money. Right. Right. But you, 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 you didn't start sending out mailers in the very beginning. No, actually, I did. Uh -huh. I started sending out mailers in the very beginning. It wasn't the the level that we do right now, but it was just maybe ten, twenty, or fifty a week, but kept it consistent. Yeah. Um, and then going into using, like, what I tell my students, use social media to your advantage. Get on, you know, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Have those company accounts. We've sold a couple properties just from Facebook doing a five dollar boosted post. Wow! You know, and just wow. being able to do that, use those things. Yeah. Put in Omaha. Let's yeah. go look at Omaha because you know that market, oh, yeah. and, and, and walk through the same drill. So I'll do six eight one zero. That's one of the most, um, one of the most popular. And, and what's going on? What's going on in Omaha right now? How's the Omaha, economy there? Omaha's pretty good. We didn't get yeah. hit too, you know, get get hit too hard. Inventory is a little bit tight, but uh -huh. that's where, of course, your relationships come in. We have a great team of realtors that we work with, um, so they're always consistently finding us deals. Hardest hit is our North Omaha area, where there's a lot of rundown properties, a lot, you know, just a lot of those. And they actually just implemented the uh, municipal land bank, where you know, city's going to start buying up some things and reselling them to investors. That's kind of going. Not as well as I think people expect it. So uh -huh. it still gives us, you know, investors an opportunity and wholesalers an opportunity to get those properties under contract and get them off to investors who want to certainly play. Mm -hmm. So that works. Okay, so you put in what, a zip code that you know? Yeah, zip code 68104. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's shoot this, Robert. So. I don't know why it's only coming out with four because there's certainly plenty, well, let's plenty just take, more let's, than that. Yeah, let's just take the four they got in there. and four we got there. Uh, let's do because, I mean, in the beginning, you're just... You're collecting data. You need data. You right. need a lot of data. Like what, what buys, you know, you should know every, this is what I know. I mean, I'm asking the pro, Dennis, but I'm just going to tell you, you need to know every house in that market if you're going to start buying stuff. Mm -hmm. Not just the ones you're interested in. Not just the cute one. You're like, oh, my wife loves this house. you got to know every house. Every house. Right? Yeah. Every house, every market. These are kind of typically the ones... Not the ones that you you know that you can really get in and fix and flip. I mean, you got uh -huh. it for ninety five thousand. I can tell you right uh -huh. here on Florence Boulevard, yeah. that house is not worth that. Yeah, so yeah. they have that because you immediately know. Immediately. Know. So, but I put him in Miami in a marketplace he doesn't know. He's right. like, dude, I, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. So, this is this is definitely one that you want to. This would be good for just maybe. What's a that house worth? Buyer. This house probably is worth. I mean, they have a estimate at one hundred six. I think that's a bit high. Yeah, yeah. I think it's probably sitting around maybe the eighty eighty five range. Yeah, and they have it listed at ninety five thousand. So, so let's say let's say I could convince this guy to sell to me this house for eighty five thousand. How how do I make that deal work? I'm trying to actually get it. If, if it's sitting at ninety five, I'm actually trying to get it at about sixty or seventy. That's okay, so I'm let's saying. say I, let's say I can convince him for whatever reason to sell it to me for seventy grand. Mm -hmm. Walk me as the pro. Walk right. me through how I need to structure this deal. Yeah, so you're approaching approaching the seller, letting him know, you know, hey. Due to you know the area, you always want to make you make sure that you have your data to back you up, and that's mm -hmm. part of the, what I always tell people: control the deal. And they're asking, well, how come your price came in so low? Yeah. Well, this is you know this is the area. This is what this property could sell for. Um, this is the true value of this property. This is what it's going to take for this property to be repaired. So you always want to make sure you have that backed up to you. Mm -hmm. um, and then also mentioning too, you know, with wholesaling, they're always getting net what's on the contract. You know, you can buy that property as is, the end buyer's paying the closing cost, so you mention those features and benefits to be able to get them at that price. And by the way, I mean, I got a check. Uh, yeah. Do you have a check right yeah, there at that point? Check. Yeah, you, you can either have a check right there, or if you have... I mean, is that thing worth 70 grand? Yeah. Like, if, if you bought that for 70, right. 
What could you sell it for? If you, if I bought it at seventy, I probably could go um, maybe maybe eighty five ninety. Okay, what's it going to rent for? Um, because I mean, I, I, you that. know, if you could walk into that meeting with a check for seventy grand, and say a, he says, why, "Why are you offering me so little, dude?" Because I got a check. Anybody else offering right. you a check? No, no. Somebody else is advertising a number yeah. on Zillow. I'm telling you right now what I have a check for. It. Yeah, this is it. So if you guys could find somebody, I mean, that'd be a power position yeah, right there, definitely. right? Yeah, especially if you already have somebody lined up. And I got 70 point, grand. Uh, Let's go buy that one deal right there, okay? Deal, so what could you rent that deal for? What so this think? one you probably could in this part of Omaha, um, three bed, two bath, 2,033 square feet. You could probably get away with about 1,000. Um, a thousand a month in uh -huh. that part of Omaha. Okay, the note on this, if I went and borrowed this money, would be 388 a month. Mm -hmm. 70,000 divided by 180 months, 15 years, with no interest, okay? So let's figure it costs me 500 a month. It rents for how much? Yeah, about 1,000, about 1, 1,100 a month. Okay, okay let's, say we, let's say we give it away for 950, make it a better deal. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I'm making 450 a month before any taxes, before any property taxes times 12. I'm making 5,400 bucks a year. Uh, is that right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, let, me, let me see. Is that right? Yeah, I'm making 450 net of. No, he's paying 388. Right. No, I'm paying. Let's say, let's say I wrote a check for 70 grand and then went and got the money from the bank. Mm -hmm. And told the bank, now I'm going to, the bank, the bank, I'm going to pay you, I'm going to get my 70 grand back and pay you 388 a month. Mm -hmm. how, can, how much can I rent that thing for? Because you don't want to tell the bank you're renting this property. No. Right? No. That's a whole different I'm going to move in, man. I'm going to live in this place. We're going to move in. I'm moving my family, and we're going to fix it. We love this place. Right. Maybe you move in for it for six months. Yeah. And some people do that, too. They'll do yeah. six months a year or whatever, and then turn around, and it out and do that. Then I decide I changed my mind after six months. Man, I'm going to rent the place. I'm renting it for nine fifty. It's a good deal. Put the guy on a 12-month lease. Maybe give him an option. Sure. I'm making four fifty a month times 12 equals 5400 I paid $70,000. let us see what my return is here. It's a 7.7% return a year. Terrible. Yeah. I hate that deal. All right? Nice but, a bit but what if I had the opportunity in the interim to sell it for $95,000? Right. Then, then, then you're good. I mean, if you, can, you know, if you can reach that point and truly get what you want for it, yeah. Okay, that's so why don't we go offer this guy seventy Let's grand? Just why don't you knock Let's on one, go back over there and say, I gotta check. Is it worth seventy? Yeah, it's worth seventy. Yeah, yeah. You know? And honestly, it's like I mean, once you get to talking, I mean we may be able to get it for you know, maybe we'll get it for cheaper Yeah, than yeah. and you're saying you know, he, he's saying it's gonna rent for eleven ninety five a month. Remember, I said nine fifty. I'm just cutting the deal. I'm taking worst case scenario and everything. But really there's probably six hundred and fifty dollars I'm making a month. Six fifty times twelve. Seventy eight hundred divided by the seventy thousand I paid, by the way. Uh, you guys are assuming I got 70 grand in. I told you I went back to the bank and got my 70 back. Right. So I have no money invested in the deal now, and I'm making 450 a month. Mm -hmm. So what is 450 divided into no money? Hmm. All right. So let me just do the other math here. 450 a month times 12 divided by, let's say I went to the bank and the bank said you can do that with 7,000. I earned 5,400 dollars on my seven grand in year one. By, by 16 months, ask a pro, man. You see this guy? When you get with a pro, do you start coagulating the minds? Bring it all together and mush it. I'm like, man, I just made, I made, wait a minute, I made seven grand in a deal and probably wouldn't have to put seven grand down. Five percent? Five percent. It's a homeowner. Put 3,500 down, I make 5,400 the year one. I make 120% on my money, my down payment in year one. Three things that people have to know to make this work. Um, again, knowing your knowing your numbers, making sure that you have your data to to back you up. What is that property truly worth? You know, does that property? Another key thing too: always contact like your county assessor's office or whatnot. Find out if there's any liens. I mean, yeah, the title search is going to do that once you purchase the property, but it's always good to find out. Yeah, can I just say that that, that that you guys don't need to worry about the legal too much. Nobody's going to let right. you close on a deal. Yeah, is that right? Yeah, I've right. never ever worried about the legal stuff. Okay, now you could get spanked on it, but sure. I don't want you guys to get so hyper concerned right. because nobody's going to let you close a deal. Mm -hmm. Nobody will let you close a deal. I think I'm saying that right. Yeah. If there's something wrong in the title. Right. If there's well, encroachments, stops. they're going to be like, hey, man, we can't do this deal. Now, you need to know that, but the mm -hmm. first thing you need to know in your freaking heart of hearts is right. 
what's what's good. something worth, man? Because if if I'm stealing it, I'm stealing it. I might not even I might steal something, even though I got a little title yeah. problem that gets fixed later, yeah. right? Yeah. So the first thing, most important thing, is know you want to do this. Mm-hmm. Know your game. Know your game. That's going to give you the confidence. Number right. two, what's something worth? Obviously, you got to get your legal, and then and then know what else. What else do I need? Yeah, to know? and then knowing, of course, you know what you can sell that property for. You know, once you're done with it, knowing what you can rent it for. Just really just jumping yeah. into the market. You got to know the know, market. Know your market and, and jumping into that deal. That's going to be the best. Thing. How important is location? Location is extremely important. Yeah. Um, I think you know sometimes we get into things, and, and this happens back in Omaha. Now. Like I'll have a lot of buyers say, "Don't give me anything North Omaha. Mm-hmm. I want to take you know Papillion or La Vista or just some other type of suburb. Don't give me anything North Omaha." Yeah. And I have other people who love. North Omaha, they, right. they can get that cheap property, right, right, right. fix it up, they can rent it out, they can do Section 8, and right. they're, they're right. good. So, But location is extremely important. So, I mean, in wholesaling, sometimes you may be holding on to a deal, but again, that's going back to your buyer, making sure that your buyer has that in their criteria. Therefore, when you find that property, it's so much easier to, so much easier to flip. Hey, ask a pro, Dennis Anderson, we're talking about real estate, how you can get it started in real estate. So many of you have said, man, Grant, I don't, I don't have a million dollars to put in a multifamily deal. This is a way to start getting in deals with no money, but a lot of courage, creativity, and commitment. You gotta have those things. Dennis, thanks, man. Appreciate you being here, all right?